Hello everyone. In this video today, we're going to learn how to infuse tequila with jalapenos uh, for our jalapeno margarita. Uh, they're actually, this is actually a two-part series. We'll have one video on the infusion and one on making the drink itself. So we're gonna go ahead and start infusing. Uh, we're gonna use our Patron Barrel Select Hacienda Tequila, this is the Reposado, and we're gonna use fresh jalapenos. So with this, we're going to use three or four jalapenos, right around six ounces. Uh, you can go ahead and get these from the supermarket or um, any other way we can from Gordon's. And what we're gonna do is we're going to use our cutting glove. And what we'll do with the jalapeno is cut off the ends and we'll kind of get rid of those. And then we'll just slice them into rings. So, once we're done with that, I already pre-sliced some of these just for, to make it quick. Once we're done with that, we're going to use our ball jar that everyone should have. We're going to go ahead and just put them right in the ball jar. Make sure you get the seeds in there as well because that's what makes the heat. I lost one. Let's go ahead and grab, get the seeds in there. Now we're gonna get our Patron Barrel Select Hacienda Reposado. We're just gonna pour that right in there. Like so. So this is a big enough jar that we can actually do two batches if we want. So if you're doing two batches, you just double the recipe. After we do that, you just go ahead and put the lid on. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit, and then you can go ahead and put it in your cooler. Now with this, you might wanna put a label on it just so you know what time of day you put this in the cooler, but we want this to sit in the tequila for 24 hours. So we're going to go ahead and put it in there for 24 hours. Now with it being a video, we're just going to act like it was in there for 24 hours. And I'll show you how to kind of get it out of the jar. So you go ahead, get it out of there. You want to grab your strainer. The strainer has a mesh strainer in there so that way you can get the seeds out so the seeds don't get in the jar itself. So you go ahead, put the strainer right in, grab the ball jar, and right back into there we go. You can almost notice already that it's turning kind of a green color from the jalapenos, which is pretty cool. There we go, all that. And like I said with the strainer, we want that in there because we did pick up some seeds. Once you're done with that, you want to use these jalapeno rings for garnish. Um, if you don't have jalapeno rings for garnish, we want to uh, slice up a little bit more. But as of right now, this is a jalapeno infused tequila now. Best practice is I've already done one up, is to write jalapeno on the cork itself. That way we don't confuse it with our other, because that would be a little spicy. So. You could also write it on the side of the jar as well if you'd like, just so we know that it's actually the jalapeno infused. But that is how we infuse our Hacienda Patron tequila.